Hey, bro, it's Chris, eh? Uh, Brad J. And Dean. And we're here from GettingTheSwag.com again, and we're here today to review Super Fight expansions. So, Brad, tell us a little bit about Super Fight. So, Super Fight is a game of essentially dumb arguments. You know, when you're a kid and you're like, uh, Drew Stewart could uh, beat Land from Wheel of Time. And like, no, they couldn't. Yes, they could. And then you argue about it. And then you go home and you pull out your D&D books where you have stats for those characters and you actually make them fight. Not that I've done that or anything. A super fight is that, except, you know, you have cards. So you have a bunch of character cards and you have a bunch of ability cards. Everyone gets three of each and then you pick two. So you could have, um, you know, Conan, uh, you know, with a pet velociraptor. Or um, Stephen Hawking riding Gandhi or something. And then you, there's a bunch of different variants you can play. Um, you can go around and then assign a card to other people or then flip a random card. So you're like, oh yeah, my Terminator that spits lava is good until you flip it over and you find out he's wearing diapers all the time or something. So this is the core box. The core box has like 500 cards in it or something like that. And it's about $30, $35. But really what we're going to focus on today are these expansions. What do we have, Dean? We have the 90s deck, so all things 90s. And we have the Street Fighter set, so you'll have a lot of your Street Fighter characters and moves and settings. And then we have a nerdy set. And there's a whole lot of these expansions for like so many different subgenres of fun to add to the party game where you can kind of customize it to your group of friends and have the things that they like to argue about. The cool part from my understanding, if correct me if I'm wrong, Brad, is that these are all interchangeable. You can use any of these cards with these cards and mix them together. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to you can just mix any expansion in. There's some expansions that add like small changes to the rules, but really nothing huge. This game is super simple. And really as far as like dumb party games go, this is one of the better ones. You can play it very quick, you can teach it very quick. It's fun. You have to make a good argument. I, I'm a fan of Super Fight and I normally hate games like this. I don't like Cards Against <laughs> Humanity or Bucket of Trash or any of those other games that they sell at Target. But uh, Super Fight is good. They sell Super Fight Target though, so I guess I shouldn't include that in there. <laughs> and these are 15 bucks in expansion for each one of these. So we're going to take a look at these tonight. And, 100 uh, cards each. There's 100, 100, 100 cards? Think, yeah, 100 cards in each wow. one. And I don't think huh? you need, need the base game. I guess you could just get a bunch of expansions. It's ultimately a collection of the black yeah. cards and the white cards. Yeah. yeah, you honestly, you could play with one expansion box. Like, you could play with one of these. It would just get dull very quickly because you'd, you'd see the same faster. things. Right. Not recommend it. Probably want to buy the base game. But Plus, a lot of the stuff in the base game is pretty evergreen. So, you got your Conan, your Terminator, your I had Gandhi. Miley Cyrus when we were playing, and Meatloaf. Huh. Yeah. So, you know. Nice. Well, we'll I, find out what you would do for I would Robin hope there's at least do. one Saved by the Bell reference in the 90s deck. And every character imaginable for Street Fighter. There has there's to be. There's 100 cards. There's 100 cards. There's got to be something they're doing there. So, all I, right, cool. Well, hey, let's take a look and see what's inside. And we're back. We're going to take a look first at the Street Fighter expansion deck. So let's open it up and see what we got in here. I'm guessing at least one card says Ryu on it. So, typical, uh, typical stuff that you find in Super Fight. You got your character deck and your... A tribute deck. Um, what I thought we'd do is just deal out three to each of us and play a quick game. So there you go, Chris. I know that's off camera. Dean, if you want to reach in and grab those. And then uh, and then here are three for you, Chris. Dean, three for you. And then three for, three for me. So... Uh, I know this is very exciting not seeing any, so I have, uh, wow, I realized looking at this that I have not played any new Street You're Fighter really games. You're really going deep into the canon with this. Uh, yeah, so. Right off the bat, I don't even know who two of mine are. I don't know who any of mine are, but I'm going to play Oni dress and drenched, drenched, just drenched themselves in oil. So uh, if you've played Street Fighter, then uh, I'm sure you know who Oni is. I mean, he fought Balrog, right? Yeah. What about what about you guys? Who's who's gonna beat Oni drenched in oil? All right. So I have Evil Blank draw a character card. Evil Gukin. Go Goku. Goku. Oh man, from Dragon and Ball. He beats no, opponents okay. in submission with a whip. Okay. Ooh. Wow. So Goku and Simon Belmont. It's not Remy. Skin is hard as metal. Oh wow. That's, not that's bad. I've heard of Remy. That's that's that's, that's not they bad. Deep on these Street Fighters. Yeah. Right. So let's uh let's add a card to each one. So uh. Oni drenched in oil, but 
He can fire Hadoukens in multiple directions oh, much crap. better. Probably set yourself on fire, yeah, however. That's a bad thing for him. Uh, Remy used to be a famous Ooh. martial arts movie star. Okay, well, that's interesting. And then uh, uh, Evil Goku is wearing handcuffs but uses them to fight. And uh, yeah, so. Um, that's not bad. So I've got a whip and handcuff so, coaching. So at this point, we'd, uh, we'd, we'd figure out who the worst is, and or who the two best are, but since there's three, two the worst. I think evil Goku here is pretty... Okay. So, Goken is the guy who trained Ken and Ryu. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's but he's master. evil this time. Yeah, like, okay. The original time? I mean, they're like good guys. There's, there are different variants of some of the characters. I believe right. there might be an evil version. Okay. Well, this one is definitely the evil version. He's wearing handcuffs. That's awful. But he uses them to fight. Ah, uh, yeah, and that's he true. Beats everyone into submission. You know, what? Oni it's here. Not even a question. He beats them into submission with a whip. Oni here is just going to set himself in fire as soon as he fires a Hadouken. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take myself out. So now I have to decide which of your guys is better. Any, either of you guys want to put up a, like an argument for either one? I think, I, uh, I think I've got it. He, oh, that's a great argument, Dean. I, yeah, you know, how can locked down? I mean, he's, I mean, just, he's, he's a has been. He used to be. And skin being hard as metal, I mean, that's nice, but he, it's a fact. He's already been going to be beaten into submission mm -hmm. with a whip. Counterpoint? Um, I, I don't really have one because Remy is, is not my favorite character. No. And his he skin is hard as metal. That doesn't really do too much, although punching him would be very difficult. But I don't think that he would ever survive even just playing against okay. Goken. Okay, well, since since Chris argued against himself, and I used to he love Dragon see. Ball Z, yeah. I'm gonna say Evil Goku gets it. But uh, let's uh, here, let's let's get these out of the way. Let's take a look at some of the other people in here. If they're oh, here's Ken and Ryu, Chun Li. Go. You got Cammy, maybe, maybe Shuffle, yeah. Guile, Charlie. Okay, <laughs> look, man. They're really digging though. Dalzine, Balrog. All of them. It goes across yeah. every Evil Ryu. Oh, evil oh man. What? So if you had evil and then you drew evil Ryu, you'd have evil evil Ryu. Or do they cancel each other? Evil right? evil. Oh uh, yeah, double net. Oh Dudley. Wow, I did not know Dudley Do Right was a Street Fighter character. Yeah, Dudley's uh, in one of the later games. Yeah. He accidentally um, wins. Wow, I didn't need Poison. Is that a real character? Yeah, DJ. I love DJ. I did not even. If it was wasn't. Viper? Look, if it yeah. wasn't in the Jean Claude Van Damme Street Fighter movie, I don't know who it is. Whoa, yeah, Sodom. I, 12. I wasn't familiar with who 12 is. Okay, so. Yeah, so. The, well, for, for all the characters, they had to go kind of deep. They really so, did. So. Well, we got ha ha Hadouken, Sonic Boom. Yogi Yoga See, Fire. I mean, it's like I like. I think those would be great mixed in with a core deck. Yeah, I love yeah. that they have these. Like the one I had earlier. Like if if you have Miley Cyrus, but she can do a lightning kick, you know, that definitely <laughs> makes things interesting. I think it's funny that there are tributes, and you're like, I'm Stephen Hawking, who can Hadouken. <laughs> Cracks me up. Uh, on a tag team with draw a character card. Uh, it was trained to fight by bears. Okay, there's some there's some there's some fun stuff in here. Not being a huge Street Fighter fan. I still like these cards. These would be very fun these to add. Really cool. Learn to fight through mail order classes and kung fu movies. Was that actually something from one of the games? I don't no, remember. It's, it's, it's hmm? Street Fighter esque. Well, that's uh, that's the Street Fighter Super Fight expansion. Yeah, I got some cool stuff. Um, let's... I think that'd be good to add into the base set. It really add some interesting flavor. Absolutely. Let's take a look at the orange deck which is a bunch of like geeky stuff like geeky potpourri i think yes it's tv comics movies video games are in there all right so we'll do the same deal so open it up uh, it has uh yeah oh yeah. Uh, yeah yeah visit super fight i love it when they've got ads in games that sounds sarcastic but it's actually not with blanks to put in oh put in yeah, yeah they come oh, with blanks really cool. Is is a level ninety? Oh wow, <laughs> pretty serious. Okay, guys, here. Oh, I'll, sh I'll actually shuffle, yeah, shuffle them up. Shuffle them up. Jeez, <laughs> whiners. Okay, here you go, Dean. Here you go, Chris. Here you go, Brad. That's me. And we'll shuffle this deck up. Oh, some of these cards are orange. Oh, they're all orange. Never mind. It's the orange deck. Yeah, I. You know what? I'm not a smart man. Okay, we got we got our stuff. Let's uh. Let's pick some some people here. Oh, ooh. <laughs> this is uh. I think I got mine ready. I can go first. Okay, do it. 
predator, not that kind. I'm thinking that they're <laughs> referring to like a child predator or something. And he has a pet dire wolf. Okay, okay. Maybe it's a predator drone. I, I like think it's it. It's predator from the movie Predator. But it's no Colossus armed with a golden gun. Ooh. Okay, that's pretty good. But um, my favorite childhood cartoon character, He Man, doing a barrel roll. <laughs> Oh, no. Which implies he is in a Star Fox style jet. Uh, no, it says nothing about a jet. I think he's just doing a barrel roll on the ground. That's pretty impressive. That's like a that's like a Street Fighter type hot. move. He could, he could beat a lot yeah, of yeah, barrel yeah, rolls. Okay, so let's let's check out. Let's add some stuff. So Dean, your predator is also oh, armed with a master with sword. The master sword. A predator oh. drone with a wolf and a master sword. Uh, unreal. Okay, Chris, uh, you can build sentry turret turrets. Oh, that's Colossus good. Colossus can build sentry turrets with the golden. <sighs> okay, yeah, but me, wait till you see this. I can. I'm armed with red turtle shells. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, that's okay. So I can knock you down and make you spin around a bunch. Um, so I have to show this card. This one just says, pick a video game character. Oh, that's that's funny because I had pick a sci-fi character. You I pick would, anyone you want. Yeah, I'd pick a princess. Oh man, that's hilarious. So I was. You, it gives a little more flavor to it. I was tempted to pick Goku, but um, I mean Goku is so overpowered; he just like you, wins. You any. can concede, like oh, I'm Princess Peach, and I'm just cosplaying. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Okay, guys, let's 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 concentrate on the important thing. Who is the worst out of these characters? Um, I don't know. Man, they're all, they're all pretty good. I gotta say, Colossus uh, build sentry turrets. I mean, I'm gonna just barrel roll out of the way and throw like our red shells at this turrets from a distance. I mean, and he got a gun. He Man, have you ever seen the He Man from like the uh, the like early '90s where he was in the like kind of futuristic and he hit guns with his sword? Like Dolph Lundgren. He's pretty yeah. Up. No, no. There's a, a there there was a '90s there was a '90s He Man TV show that was more like the movie. Yeah. So what do you, what do you think? Who's out? Let's make well, a snap decision. This is not the predator that hunts people down. It is the predator. Yeah, I think it child. is. It's the predator. With the wolf I think and he's, the master sword. He's definitely in. I think I think this is strong, but then so, it's being real. So which, what's more powerful out of me and Chris's guy? I feel like, if I'm going to be real honest, it's going to be Colossus. No! Colossus is an excellent melee fighter, and then you gave him hey, both sentry huge, guns and the golden gun. You know, kids he's got, got close and long ahead. range combat down. You know what, you guys, well, you know, I'm uh, I'm in the Kingmaker section, so... And, and if I'm going to be real, I don't know that my dire wolf or the predator is going to do very well against a metal man. You know... That kind of firepower. This game you is... You have the Master Sword, but you're not getting... I do have the Master Sword, but... I think I'm gonna get chewed up by uh, by bullets pretty hard. I'm just yeah. gonna say this is a game. Yeah, well, it didn't didn't help much in the movie, did it? It didn't. Uh, <laughs> this this is a game about making an argument for your character, not arguing like people not to pick your guy. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I I think I actually since I'm the actual voting here, I think that Dean's got it with the predator with uh, the master sword and a pet direwolf. I mean, Sentry turns the GTFO. It's the Predator. He's probably got something that can slice through he Colossus. Does, he does have the ability to... Uh, yeah, he's got some alien powers. Himself. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean... And, and even if you kill him, on. he just blows himself up to take you uh, with him. That's right. Anyway. An argument can be made. Let's see what else we got in here. So we've got... Uh, ah, Kirk! Yeah, Neo, Medusa... Minotaur, Kraken, Ripley, Cthulhu. Some of these are like a little out of each other's league. I mean, like a <laughs> yeah. literal god versus a liger. Yeah. Like, uh, okay, pick a fantasy character. Okay. The Dark player. Lord, Satan? Or Who's Baltimore? the Dark Lord? Uh, maybe. Sure. Bowser. Or Wolverine, eh, Bob? Cut you with my knife hands. <laughs> A doge. Yeah, do doge. No, it's doge from the doge meme. Yeah. Doge. Doggy. Doge. No, it's doge. You pronounce it doge. Haven't you seen the internet? Never excited. Rodent of unusual sight. Pick an internet cat, guys. Yeah. Who's the. And, and, which, which, what's your pick for the best internet cat? Jingle cats. Oh, and, ooh, I like the cat that goes, no, 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 no. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Okay, we're gonna ignore that I said I'm that. Say no, 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 oh, no. Finn. Okay, so it's got it's got new people. Star Wars. I've actually wow. I've actually played with these cards before, um, and my friend definitely bought this set before the last one came out. I think I don't know. The, actually, the last Star Wars movie came out two years ago, it's but it would be Isn't there a it'd be cool if they games? Uh, maybe it would be cool if they update this though for new oh, Kirby. stuff. You got V. You got dwarf, dwarf. Just dwarf. Literally just dwarf. Okay, whatever. 
Wraith. Okay, so you guys, you guys get the idea. You get some, some geeky characters. What kind of cool abilities do we have in here? Oh, is just level one. You could play that on someone else. Just ate a mushroom. Could be any type of mushroom. Armed with a thermal detonator. Stealth mode. Armed with a phaser. Armed with a phoenix feather wand. Is wearing a metallic gold bikini <laughs> and is chained to draw a random character. Uh, a and they are chained to a rodent of unusual size. <laughs> Power level is over 9,000. Wow. It's over 9! Yeah, everyone knows it. Is buffering. Has three pet dragons. Uh, that's obviously... Uh, Game of Thrones. Oh, man. No, I was going to say dragons of Perth. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Wearing diamond armor, armed with mjneer, has a chainsaw for a hand, has a towel. Okay, this is, uh, yeah, pretty good. Has a sonic good screwdriver. Yeah. Some good stuff in here. I like it. I would add it to my super fight. Enjoy. So. Boom. Bam. 90s. I love that they put the little weird S in here that no one knows where it came from, but everyone drew. Uh, on your binders, on your notebooks, on your yeah. desk. Yeah, everywhere. Okay, so let's open this up and see what is in here. So this one actually has some stuff that I'm not sure what set it was from, but you've got scenario cards where after you do your fight, you can draw one of these, and then the winners have to fight with that scenario. You can play with all these optional things in different ways. Uh, oh, also locations where you can choose a location where you're fighting. So we'll, uh, we'll draw one of each of those too. And, uh, okay, we're, we're going to do one more. Are you guys ready? Right, ready? Are you guys ready for the 90s? I'm winning one. Okay, Dean. Chris, you're winning one. Didn't you win the last one? No, you didn't. No, you beat Jeff Bluff. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to make sure I'm shuffling so you guys don't complain. Dean. Chris. And Brad. Jay. That is me. Okay. Um. <laughs> All right, I'll go with mine. Oh man, the tick, and he throws razor sharp AOL CD ROMs. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. The Rugrats, but they're riding free willy. Uh, okay, that's uh, that's not bad. Okay, so I've got ex president Brock. Uh, riding Limp Biscuit. Maybe that's not ex-president Brock. Maybe that's supposed to be Brack. But, uh, riding Limp Biscuit. Uh, and let's, uh, let's... So the Tick is also wearing Gizmo oh, Duck's oh, armor. Oh, man! Oh, snap. You may have won. Chris, armed with a Super Circle Frill Surge. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. And me, I'm armed with a Beady Baby Gatling Gun. Limp Biscuit, coming to your town. It's gonna shoot you we get a setting, right? I know. Oh yeah. Wait, wait, wait. We have to pick who who is who are the two best out of us. So uh, I have to say the tick is an actual superhero with a good weapon yeah. and defensive yeah. armor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say that I beat out I beat out the Rugrats. Villain. They are children. Yes. Yeah. I think you, I Rugrats. definitely lost. Rugrats, right? I didn't have much to If you hit a child it. with a beanie baby shot out of a Gatling gun, it's done. I don't want to talk about what'll happen. I'm uncomfortable with that. Yeah, so we get these guys. But let's see. So the location they're fighting in, inside a Where's Waldo book. Ooh, Whoa. that's good. That's okay. that's good. Uh, and uh, the fight is directed by David Lynch. Oh wow, that's uh, that's pretty good. So, so um, wow, the Where's Waldo book really plays against mine because the members of Limp Biscuit cannot shut up. Yeah. Um, but you know, then again, Fred Durst is a fighter. He did challenge the lead singer of Creed to a boxing match, and uh, they got that Beanie Baby thing, you know. And it's so surreal because it's directed by David Lynch that you know a weird alien with a bizarre washed-up metal rap metal band. They got a good chance. Dean, you want to make a counterpoint? Remember, this is the 90s, so they're they're super popular. They're this, not washed up yet. Boom, boom, bang, boom, boom, bang, boom, boom, bang. Because this is at their peak, they're, they're going to be overwhelmed by fans. You're not going to be able to handle me launching razor sharp and well CD ROMs at you. I got this sweet, sweet gizmo duck armor with that wheel. Got great mobility. Yeah, but, and he's super strong, the tick. But David Lynch. 
I think David Lynch would appreciate the tick. Okay, he would appreciate look, the we're, Limp Biscuit. we're in a Where's Waldo book, so we're totally crowded by the sharp AOL. You can't throw these, so that's pretty much out. And this armor isn't going to do you good. You have low mobility, so it's literally low just mobility, the... Low his bottom is a wheel. Yeah, but it's super crowded. But I think then you have to sit there and eliminate Crit the Gatling gun, because that's not going to work. And yeah. I mean, you can hurt. ride Limp Biscuit, but it's not going to move much, right? Because you're in the book. So it's basically... Nah, man. I'll be like moshing. So it's Brack, it's Brack on top of Limp Biscuit versus the Tick. What well, you don't in the Gizzard S armor, and I, I think the Tick wins because it's the strength. Ah oh, man, you know what I got to say about that? It's just one of those days. <laughs> let's let's actually like look at some of the stuff in here. So let's see some of the other characters. We've got Mr. Feeney. Ah oh, man. Oh, man. Jordan Catalano. I don't know who that is. Ah uh, T and Tamara. Friends. Jordan was that one of the backshoot? Our new oh, Daria, Polly Pocket. I don't know why I'm like so amazed by just by names and stuff I from the, the 90s. Prince is one of my options. Oh, oh that, man. that's a good one. She could have been armed with a guillotine slap bracelets. Ooh, wow, I like. I like. A good card. Let's let's. Uh, oh, Street Shark. Okay, that's pretty good. Street Shark. Oh, probably. Waldo himself. Y2K Doomsday Prepper. Earthworm. Oh, Smash Mouth. Wow. Oh, Can you imagine right. Smash Mouth riding Limp Biscuit is the perfect combo because it would drive. It would just drive everyone insane. <laughs> Somebody tell me the world's gonna. I, I had this card, and I didn't. I actually just figured out what it was. It's that. Yeah. I met in black. Noisy yeah, the, cricket, the, the little, the little, little pew gun, pew. Yeah. I was like, what is a mib? Noisy a cricket. Mib. <laughs> mib. I couldn't figure out what that reference uh, was. The Brave Little Toaster. Did you guys watch the Brave Little Toasters, sure, kids? When I was a child. I loved it as a child. It was my favorite movie. Quail Man. Oh man. Oh. Steve oh. Urkel. Can he turn into Stefan Urkel? Or can he turn into into Bruce Lee or You can make that. You can yeah. make that uh, uh, pick a Save by the Bell character. There you go. You can I, I never like oh, pick a team from Space Jam, the Toon Squad, or the Monsters. Guest from Jerry Springer. Could you name a specific guest from any of those? I think they're just saying in general, like did oh, it just happens to uh, be. I was gonna say, didn't Jerry Springer have like a serial killer on or something? That's a little okay. dark. Pick a Spice Girl. Tupac. Tupac. Mulder and Scully. A Furby, Freakazoid. That's a winner. Okay, you guys get Duke the Nukem. idea. Duke Nukem. The Microsoft Paperclip. <laughs> he has a name. His name is Clippy. I'll read a Repulsa. Have you guys ever? Do you guys remember the Power Rangers episode where they fought Frankenstein? No, don't. I remember Reader Repulsa though. Okay, there's a Power she Rangers. There's a Power Rangers episode where they fought Frankenstein, the original Japanese version. At the end of it, Rita Repulsa summons the Great Satan to fight the Power Rangers, and in the next episode they fight Satan. What? If you've never seen the Japanese Power Rangers show with Zoo Rangers, look up, I think it's Zoo Rangers Go. Look it up. It's amazing. Ha ha, now I summon the great Satan. Oh, the <laughs> temple guards from Legends of the Hidden Temple. They scare the crap out of me. Okay. Ah, so, eh. oh, gargoyles. Fantastic. Okay, you guys get the idea there. Pretty cool. Let's, let's take a look at some of these real quick. Wearing armor made of Jim, just Timberlake's ramen air. Gets knocked oh down, gosh. but gets back up again. You can't touch this. A fighter cannot be touched. That's <laughs> good. Using Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen as nunchucks. Oh, these are very funny. These this are is drawn by Lisa Frank. Wearing a skip it with blades on it. Oh, oh my gosh. Snap. Armed with neon gel milky pen gun. So <laughs> <laughs> Armed with a metal pog slammer because their parents must be rich or something. I always wanted a pog slammer. Uh, armed with a gat cannon. Okay, well, well. Let's, uh, well, we'll look through this one real quick, too. What do we got? Will there be a stampede? Hard to fight in. Uh, face off, all players draw and play. A new, wait, a new character. Mm. Uh, armed with Super Soaker, Champagne Supernova. <laughs> and some good stuff. And locations, you got Blockbuster, Donkey Kong Country, the Aggro Crag. Okay, okay so fac uh, the facility, not the faculty. That was in the 90s as well. Your mom's basement. Uh, my mom still has a basement, and it is not the 90s, so inaccurate. Nice. So, some good stuff here. I think they all do very well with the corset. Yeah, they, they all had funny stuff. The great thing about a game like Super Fight is, like, expansions, like, as long as it's funny, you can really add them together. And having a bunch of expansions and a bunch of mismatched people, I think, just adds to it. Like, I mean, ha you know, having uh, Mr. Mr. Feeney doing the Hadouken... Is pretty hilarious, right? I think so. Right? It's good stuff. So, yeah, if you like Super Fight, you really can't go wrong buying any of these expansions. Like, 
I, I would say if you enjoy Super Fight and you want to spice it up, just pick one that, that you like. And they're all high quality. They're all well made. I mean, some of them add cards like this, but it's not really complicated. Like, nothing in this game is too complicated to understand. And that's really a plus because... Sometimes these party games try and get too complicated for no reason. And Super Fight realizes it is a ridiculous game. You, you know, play with friends between other games or, you know, whenever. So, yeah, I like it. Yeah, this is pretty good. At 15 bucks a set, you can't really beat it. Uh, it's add on to your, your existing decks and um, they're very topical and they were pretty much accurate when... Uh, you know, when said, hey, Street Fighter, you, you're getting pretty much every Street Fighter character ever made. 90s, pretty much every 90s reference ever made. Um, so, yeah, I, I think it's a great addition and uh, definitely like to check out some more and uh, add these to our collection and go from there. Uh, but, yeah, this has been Chris, Dean, and Brad from GamingWithSwag.com. Check us out on social media. Like, comment, subscribe. We really appreciate that. Tell us what you think about these Super Fight decks. If you have any ones that you think are better or um, ones that you have a favorite of, let us know. Um, but for now, check us out online, gamingswag.com. Game on!